Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from McClue Linux. Um, I'm bringing you another update on the KDE version um, that I'm currently working on. It's uh, made quite a lot of I've made quite a lot of progress in the last few versions. I'm getting very close to release now, or release quality. Um, I've set the desktop backgrounds to sort of change every 20 seconds. So while I'm doing the video, you can kind of get a preview of a couple of the backgrounds that will come out with this edition. Um, some are new, some are not new, so it's kind of a mixture, you know. Um, quite a few of the ones that I've used before I really like, so I kept them in. I see no point in uh, removing them. And of course I found uh, a couple of really nice new ones that I've also included. So just like, kind of keep an eye on, on that in the background. Okay, um, I've booted up the system. I've opened nothing except the file manager and the system monitor. So basically this is the system at idle. Now the previous edition was using around 650 to 680 megs of RAM which is normal for KDE. Most KDEs I've tried have usually used between about 6 and 700 megs of RAM. But I've done a lot of optimization on the system, uh, focused a lot on trying to get the memory down. And currently at idle, when you start up, it's running at about 400 to 410. It's now sitting at 407 megs of RAM. But I know K Sysguard is using 8 megs of that. So if I take, if I remove K Sysguard, if I, if I close that, it will be about 399 megs of RAM. So at system idle, uh, at system idle, I'd say it uses about 400 megs of RAM. That is so, so, so low for KDE, extremely low. This is around almost on par to XFCE, because usually XFCE is between 3 and 400 megs of RAM. So I've got this KDE version running at the same memory usage or um, roughly the same memory usage as an XFCE system. It's almost unheard of for KDE and so smooth and fast as well. You won't believe this. This is inside a virtual box by the way. Um, so that's that's first thing I wanted to just uh, speak about because I noticed uh, some of the guys in chat was asking about memory usage and I said I'd show it in one of the follow-up videos which is basically this video so um, with that with that out of the way um, I want to focus a little bit also on some of the other changes now of course a lot of the changes were on the back end so I can't show everything um, but the ones I can show are well I've uh, been concentrating a lot obviously more on the themes as well because I know that one of the major focus on this edition is going to be how pretty it is and, and you know looks and so forth I mean that's obviously going to be pointed out because that's probably the first thing people are going to see. Um, I've done some more work on the theme. Actually, if you actually look at the border theme and you've been following the videos and you kind of been watching them um, a lot, you'll notice that this this uh, border background I've been changing that slightly. It's a much more clearer now. Um, it was sort of a dirty transparent before, but only slightly more than now. It sort of had more of a white kind of white glass kind of a look to it. It's got a much more crystal, crystal, crystallized look to it now. You know, with the top border, that little border line used to be like white in color. It's now more of a, almost got a blue touch to it, you know. So it's almost like a light blue, white kind of touch to it. And uh, as I said, this this uh, background is, is more sort of crystal. So, um, yeah, so I've done a bit more work on the border theme. Um... I'm happy with the actual theme itself, the, oxy the, the oxygen theme, so I haven't touched much of that. Um, I have included a much, quite a few more um, emerald themes. There's currently 91 emerald themes, so even if the users don't want to make new themes or don't know how or, you know, don't have the time for it, they have 91 themes that they at their this at their fingers that they can play with. I've also included the um, themes that came with version six, I think it was. Let me just find it here. There was a the default one from version six or the six series. Um, there it is. I've included that on the system. I don't know if the guys remember that the XFCE and the Mate versions. Um, had this theme previously. I have included it with a whole bunch of other themes. So um, 
users can play with these as well. So there's quite a lot of themes included here. Um, 91 in total. So that is a lot. Okay, so there's plenty of themes for users to muck around with. Um, I've also done some work on the GTK theme because remember there are five different themes on the system so um, I know it doesn't look it but uh, there literally is five different themes running the system you've got your user theme then you've got your root theme then you've got your user GTK theme then you've got your root GTK theme and then you've got your border theme okay I'm not even talking about icons or cursors or anything I'm just talking about your background themes if you count your icons and your cursors you literally have seven different themes and then of course you've got your um, um, desktop theme as well which would make it eight so in, in, com in total there's literally eight s eight different uh, themes running the system I'm happy with uh, f with four of them it's the other four that I no, sorry, I'm happy with three of them. The other five is, is, is what I've been working on. The user theme, the user, the root theme, the GTK theme for both user and root, and of course the border themes. So um, <coughs> if you look at the previous videos, um, things that open up with the GTK, three theme, uh, GTK theme, um, like Compass and uh, your Synaptic Package Manager, you know, those always use the GTK theme. They don't make use of the Oxygen theme. Um, that was very square and very grey and very ugly where it's now nice, nice, uh, the, the text is nice, the texture is nice, the highlights are nice, you know, the look is much smoother. You've got uh, different shades um, to separate the different types of windows and categories and stuff. So um, I've done some work on the GTK themes just to sort of blend the system even more than it is and than it has been now. Um, and I've done the same with the the root theme as well um, so that's pretty awesome I've also been working on a compass itself I am um, repairing a lot of the broken plugins if they can be repaired um, that is actually something I've started recently um, that's basically work in progress that's kind of probably one of the last few things remaining that I'm still busy with um, if if I find plugins that that can be repaired, I'll, I'll repair them. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. <coughs> if they are far too outdated and or can't be repaired or whatever, I'll, I'm going to simply remove them. There's no point in having a plugin that's just going to cause system instability. Um, but I do try and repair before I remove, obviously. Um, so yeah, so that's the plugins. I have done some work on. Um, some of the compass plugins themselves for example the cylinder the cylinder is now hollow completely hollow right through it looks more more like a cylinder but with of without the bottom or the top obviously um, you'll also notice oh sorry man my fingers slipped there um, you'll also notice that the uh, damn it you'll also notice that um, the background now is darker on top, lighter at the bottom, and of course the reflection kind of blends with the with the grey at the bottom. Um, you obviously have the cube as well. It runs much smoother than before. It kind of it it works as it worked well before, but it kind of had a little bit of a jerk every now and then. You'd kind of see maybe a little bit of tearing on the screen that's been fixed so it just runs much smoother now I'm kinda holding the button in and it, if you do that it kinda turns into a into a cylinder um, of course unfolded has always worked well but now I've got the uh, dark background on top the black and the silver at the bottom it just sort of blends with the reflections obviously since uh, you know reflections reflect better off silver um, than any other surface um, so yeah so uh, some work's been done on compass uh, most of the most of the bug fixes have been related to s things like Bluetooth and that kind of thing so it's all back-end stuff that I've had to do to fix the system um, I've also 
switched from Synaptic Package Manager to the Muon Package Manager which is actually a KDE Package Manager um, I actually you know I've never really used this before before I started working on KDE so it was something that was new to me and I gotta tell you I really do like it I mean um, you can uh, you know um, it's got quick buttons for quickly doing things like check for updates it's right there full upgrade right there undo redo unmark all it's it's all right there at your fingertips I, I really like that so I can mark something for installation and then I can click undo straight away or redo you know so I can just undo quickly without having to worry about um, you know the extras that might be installed or whatever um, it's also got all the details that Synaptic has it's it is as powerful as Synaptic there's there's no extra features that the one has that the other one wouldn't have not that I know of so that's pretty damn cool I'm going to you know the the power came on I'm not sure whether the nets connected to this virtual machine though because usually usually not let me just try something I just wanna see if I can open up something here and if it will no it won't yeah I'm probably gonna have to reboot this virtual machine for that to work um okay so I actually really wanted to show you the changes on that but it's fine um basically in a nutshell um the changes I've made here in Firefox is that I've added an extra dial here it's a uh, to the to our live chat channel if you actually open up a home page in the bottom right hand corner you get a little chat applet and if you click on it you can sort of leave a message which is live and the people can actually chat to each other live because anything you type there immediately shows up in that little chat box and if somebody else that's currently on the website they take type a message that you know everybody can see this little tab here will actually make that little chat sort of full screen you know so you can actually enter the channel and sit there and chat like you would in any normal chat channel and uh, anybody who's in this little live chat or anybody who's currently browsing the website would then see everything so you can quickly get help there um, users can chat among it among each other about any topic or whatever so yeah so I thought that's just pretty cool that um, that little dial just makes everything full screen because that little chat app is is kind of small you know I don't know maybe people with uh, bad eyes or difficult to see uh, might have a bit of difficulty with it there as in full screen you can you know hold down control and zoom zoom with your mouse wheel you can literally make that text nice and big so that's the one change in Firefox um, there have been some other changes I'm not gonna run through all of them but uh, pretty much uh, well it's at this point uh, it's pretty hard to predict when exactly the release will be um, but it's very soon this uh, release is shaping up to be very very nice um, the bug reports are very minimal you know it's kind of like every two days I'm hearing about one little thing and it's usually minor stuff anyway so uh, no major bugs have been found yet I think most of the bugs that have been fixed are stuff that I've noticed and uh, you know kinda while while I'm waiting for people to report stuff like in between I'm, I'm constantly working on the themes and stuff um, because it's already running stable it's already very functional um, at this point in time I just want to polish it I want it to, to really shine and uh, I think it will I think this is gonna be a very very amazing release um, yeah so well the first of many I'm sure um, I've added the the backgrounds to the user home direct uh, the, the sorry the oh, there we go there they to the user share backgrounds that's where you find the the backgrounds for this edition so um, anyway so yeah that's that's it in a nutshell it's running currently at 400 megs of RAM um, very stable very very awesome I've added a couple of other effects uh, the magic effect which kind of brings down that sort of uh, you know just for show I guess wherever you move the mouse then it, it would then, uh, you know add some some cool effects to the desktop that you can kinda um, just switch on and off at any point in time um, 
so yeah there's not much else to show at this point at least not visually you've seen most of it in the other videos everything's fully functional um, I'm busy working on adding the repo now the custom KDE Makulu repo so that uh, updates can be sent through to the users so that will probably come out with the next release I send to the testers but yeah so this uh, is pretty awesome running very very well I mean you can see how smooth this is in fact um, I don't even know if it's possible for you to see with your naked eye because I know you guys haven't worked with it daily um, but I mean I can literally see the clear difference between like the previous version I did and this one I can like see I don't know if you saw the sort of tearing just slightly um, on the last edition where this one's just so much smoother with like using things like the cube and not just smoother but I've added stuff I've added textures like a gradient texture in the background I've added extra effects um, I've literally optimized the code to use 200 me uh, megabytes less RAM and then on top of that I've still uh, achieved a smoothness where I can literally just you know kind of uh, I mean you know just look at that that's smooth 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 and this is remember always keep in mind I'm not on actual hardware I'm in virtual box here you know so this is on virtual hardware this is very pretty um, so yeah so in a nutshell that's uh, Makulu Linux that's the update um, not really much to show at this point in time um, I just wanted to update the users on 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 what's going on and um, where this release is um, basically it's in its final stages um, yeah I'll probably make a nice uh, long video or maybe a short video I don't know just before release um, or when I actually announce release so that you know users can see and uh, know exactly what's going on I think there might be one more release after this one to testers and then it would probably be ready for release in maybe the next week or two I don't know it really just depends on anything that else that we find that's maybe not functional or whatever but um, clearly I must be doing something right um, 400 megs of RAM KDE almost unheard of and uh, running as smooth as a baby's bottom and super fast I mean this is like super super fast um, virtual desktops in 3d mode um, seriously um, I dare anybody to, to to do better so yeah this is shock from a clue Linux I will chat to you guys soon